NBA 2K25 has officially dropped. Now, if you pre-ordered the game, you got two-day early access. If you're a big or recognized content creator by 2K, you got to go to Community Day and you get three-day early access. I only got a two-day early access. So that means subscribe. Stop it. Get some help. Anyways, man, let's get into the reason why you clicked on this video. The game just dropped, everyone is making their builds. And as you could tell from the title and the thumbnail, I'm about to tell y'all the biggest mistake you wanna avoid when making your build. And that mistake is not knowing how much you'll grind for your rep and season rewards. Dun, dun, dun. Now, before you get on my ass, cause I know it sounds kind of stupid. Like, what is this dude talking about? I'm gonna create my build. I'm gonna hop on and just play. If I rep up, I rep up, who cares? There's so many other tips and tricks he could be showing us in the builder, but he's telling us this. Look, I get it, you're not wrong. Let me explain a little further. There's two things you probably already heard of, but let me tell you anyways. There's cap breakers from your rep rewards, and there's max plus one badge from your season rewards. Now let me explain even further. Take a look at this logger defensive build, for example. If you look on the right hand side at its max potential, you can see it still can max out at 99. Let's say I only wanna put it to 94, right? Only 94 steel, I don't need to go 99. I get gold glove and hall of fame interceptor, and I save some attribute points for other stats. Well, now you're probably thinking, well, why not shorten the wingspan to get higher shooting if you're only gonna go 94 steel? We can do that, right? We can go down until we get a 610 wingspan with 94 steel, and now we have a 94 mid range and an 85 three ball. But now this is where cap breakers come in, right? Let's say you make the build with a 73 wingspan. With the maxed out wingspan, you have 99 steel. Max potential is 99 steel. But you keep your steel at 94. You grind the build out to 99 overall. You keep on playing the game. You rep up and eventually you earn your first five cap breakers. And literally you could put all five of your cap breakers onto your steel. And essentially it'll turn your steel from 94 to 99 steel because your max potential from the very beginning when you made the build was at 99 steel at max wingspan but now let's say you make the shorter wingspan lock right you go 610 wingspan you wanted higher shooting now if you look on the right side your max potential for steel now is only at 94 so now you grind this build get it to 99 overall you keep playing you rep up you earn your first five cap breakers but now you cannot put it on steel because your max potential from the beginning was 94 steel with the shorter wingspan, now there's no cap for it to break. But now there's a max plus one badge perk that you get from Season Wars, which is basically a cap breaker, but for badges. For example, let's say you make the shorter wingspan build, right? You wanted the higher shooting, but your max potential is only at 94 steel. So since your max potential on the shorter wingspan build is 94 steel, you have gold glove and hall of fame interceptors. You can never get legend interceptor at 98 steel or hall of fame glove at 96 steel, right? Wrong. This is where the max plus one badge perks comes in handy. So when you earn it from your season rewards, right? So you have gold glove and hall of fame interceptor. So when you apply it to one of these, you basically can turn hall of fame interceptor into legend interceptor and gold glove into hall of fame glove. So you could have hall of fame glove and legend interceptor with a 94 steel. Now that you guys have an understanding of what cap breakers and max plus one badge perk do, let me show you when you can earn it. So in the season pass at level 15 is when you earn your tier two max plus one badge perk. And level 30 is when you can earn your tier one max plus one badge perk. And I'm assuming this is gonna be the case for all eight seasons. Now your cap breakers that you get from rep rewards, the first five cap breakers you earn is at starter three. The next five you can earn is at veteran two. And the last five you can earn is at legend one. So 15 in total cap breakers that you can earn from your rep rewards. So let's base it off of last year, right? From NBA 2K24. A lot of people are playing the first couple months, grinding out, and then mid to late season, and the game starts dying down and not very many people are on the game. Maybe that happens to you, new games are coming out, you wanna play other games, and you're not grinding on 2K as much as you used to be. So maybe you just grind it out for the first five cap breakers, then you probably wanna make the shorter wingspan build. So you go with the 94 steel max potential, so you only have a gold glove and hall of fame interceptor, but you use your plus one badge perk and you get legend interceptor or hall of fame glove. And then you earn your first five cap breakers, you could put it maybe onto mid range and get a 92 mid range. And now you have gold dead eye and gold set shot specialist. As compared to the build with max wingspan, sure you can get 99 steel and get both of these badges to legend, 
but you can't go any higher with your shooting at least with the build with the shorter wingspan you have higher shooting better and more badges and all you're giving up is legend glove and 99 steel think of it this way max wingspan gets you 99 steel and both of these badges on legend but you have low shooting or the shorter wingspan still have a 94 steel can get legend interceptor but only hall of fame glove but now your shooting attributes and badges are way better ultimately in the end again it's up to you how much you'll grind for your cat breakers and your plus one badge perks because for some people the longer wingspan build might be a better fit now hopefully this is making sense having a goal or knowing what rep you want to reach or if you want to grind out every season for the rewards can actually make an impact on your build later on because i see a lot of people that are making their builds right now and they see oh i get silver this gold that or hall of fame whatever and it all looks good but just because the badge is gold or silver or hall of fame now doesn't mean you can't raise it up eventually so just be careful that's all i'm saying like the 99 three ball looks good right now right you get hall of fame everything and legend everything but maybe you can go 96 right now save the attribute points for other stats because you know how expensive a 99 three ball is compared to a 96 or use the plus one badge perk to just turn one of those badges to hall of fame into legend or gold into hall of fame so hopefully i'm making some kind of sense but also if you're the type of person that you just want to hop on and play right away you don't care for rep rewards you don't care for season rewards maybe you do for a little bit then if i were you i would probably make my build how i want it to play right now not what it potentially could be so just keep these things in mind when you're making your build because if you're like me i make a lot of bills throughout the year but i also delete a lot of bills throughout the year and thinking about all the money i've wasted on bills alone from previous 2ks bro it's ridiculous i know it's a decent amount of information and hopefully it's making sense and hope you guys learn something and honestly it's a great way for 2k to do it like this it actually motivates players to play all year long and actually have something to grind for but anyways man as always i hope you enjoyed your time here you already know what to do like subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a future video man you never miss any of the streams we're gonna go crazy for all the 2k25 we're just getting started thank y'all for watching and i'll catch y'all next time man i'm all previously on ready to die Just slide through and get your back, bro. Funny thing is that you're.